There was a big change made in the BYU football program during the offseason that players believe will have a huge impact on their success this season. I'm not talking about Bronco Mendenhall taking over defensive coordinator duties. I'm talking about the hiring of Frank Wintrick as strength and conditioning coach. It's, it's just different. There really has been a complete change in the, in the BYU football program. With the four years I've been here, I feel like that's the biggest change. It used to be that uh, our kids are more mature and they will work out themselves over the summer and then they come back at the end of their summer breaks and nothing's changed. We tried to explain that little program to Frank and he said, no way, that's not how business is done. Not really looking at what was done before, but just across the board, what needs to be done everywhere. Uh, guys need to be prepared how to play the game the way it's played here. Let's go, baby. The culture of the team is so much better, and I think a lot of it has to do with his, his program, how he runs it. Ten seconds! You know, I just feel like Winter holds us to a standard, and all of us wants to reach it every day. And I think it's just because of what he expects every single day. If you don't show up and if you're not ready, um, you, won't, you, you don't get to train. And uh, I think it just helps us all together. Um, and I, I've seen a lot of improvements from it. When we come early in the mornings with Coach Winstreet right here, he, he makes sure our intensity is very high right off the get-go. And I feel it every day. And I try and bring that intensity right with them. I mean, when we first started, all of our form and everything was off. You know, it was horrible. And then we spent like a good two weeks just working on form. And now I just feel like players are faster, the bodies look better. And I feel like we're all excited to see how that translates on the field in fall camp. Overall, it has nothing to do with what was done here before, but just overall, as a profession, we focus so much on the weights. We gotta get stronger, gotta get stronger, gotta get stronger. One of the things that we talk about on our staff is we say, well, we don't wanna worship at the altar of absolute strength. Getting them strong is important, and there's a time and place for that. But there comes a point where you say, okay, well, this guy's strong enough. Let's take that strength and turn it into more explosive strength, or, or become more flexible, or become more mobile. We are out on the field a lot more. We'll spend more time running, jumping, throwing medicine balls, um, doing uh, agility work or change of direction type work with our players, doing mobility, flexibility work with our players, then we do lifting. We'll be much uh, stronger, more conditioned in the uh, beginning part of the season uh, than we've ever been in a long time. Get up! Get up! We're lucky to have Frank with us to help us with our mindset and mental health to help us with the defense. I just feel like we're ready to roll. The great thing about this place is the kids are amazing. I've just never been around players um, that buy in and, and, and give such great effort. There was something we found interesting that we noticed in that video. Did you see who Taysom Hill's workout partner was? Well, let's take another look. His workout partner happens to be the strongest player on the team, sophomore center T. John Karoma. Look at all those weights on that bar. It says a lot about the strength of your quarterback when he's lifting with the offensive lineman in the weight room. I noticed Bronco Kafusi's hair was perfect, didn't move. That's another thing I noticed. Always look good, even in the weight room, Rod. Always, even in the weight room.